Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Moo Complex. Released October 23rd, 2015, developed and published by Studio Sime. <laughs> Let's turn that off. Play as a hacker and take control of an ultra-secret company to reveal the darkest secrets. But beware, you seem to not be alone, and what you will discover could change the world. Two episodes and credits. All right, then. Well, I have to do episode one before we do episode two, but that's fine. That's where we were going to start anyway. Uh, warning, this puzzle game can be quite difficult, and you may find yourself stuck on things you haven't mastered yet. Use your head and your computer to find the answers. Well, interesting. I, uh, I cannot recall. Oh, I don't recall seeing that before. Anyway, episode one. New game. Is the music still Mental company. Oh, okay. You have to connect on your Mew account. Please log in to proceed. Goodness, that's loud. Turn that down for you. Turn it down for me. I don't know what it is with audio today, but for some reason it seems like either too loud or too quiet seems to be the theme. All right, so Moo Complex is a governmental company. You have to connect your Moo account. Please log in to proceed. I don't have login credentials, so... Hello. Uh, let's try help then. Log in. Display the system password. Display the password. Bruce Dayton. Welcome to Mew Complex, Bruce Dayton. You have been away for 21,933 days. We are happy to see you again. At Mew Complex, you'll be asked to look for data inside files that will be given to you. To validate your aptitude test, you'll have to find a password and log in with it. Okay. Um, 21,933 days, that's... uh. Uh, 60 years? 60 years or thereabouts? Okay, um, find a, okay, well, we just found a password to log in, um, so, okay. Oh, show system information, log in, ls, cat, okay, we get an ls, we can cat, message of the day, motd, Hint. Okay, let's start with ls. Okay, cat password.txt. Hi, Bruce. I sent some confidential files to you on your first day among us. All of them are encrypted. You need my password to open them. I'll let you know my password, but don't communicate it to anybody because I use the same one for a lot of personal things. Don't forget to delete it after using it. The password is alomoto. Don't forget to delete it. Okay, log in. Alomoto. We are surprised that you succeed in this test. Knowing your clinical condition, at what? New Complex, there are several credential levels. It is very important that you know how to use them. To validate your aptitude test, you'll need to run a command as administrator. Okay, then once again we'll do the help, and then we can see who am I, pseudo. Alright, that's what we expect to see. Still have cat ls, we still have up, we still have message of the day, and hint, and help, and so on. So who am I? We are logged in as users, so ls uh, password is cat password must be an administrator. Okay. Um, encrypted password in hexadecimal. That's a little odd, but okay. Um, cat manual also encrypted. Okay, we don't have CD yet. Or do we? Nope. Okay. Um, so, um, we need... Well, let's message of the day. We are surprised that you've succeeded. Okay, that was the thing that was read before, so it just gives me that information. That's up for new complex. Uptime, two users, load average. Okay. All right. Um, there was nothing else here. No. Okay. Um, and we don't have any other applications or anything. It looks like we just have the terminal. Uh, we can't actually move anything here. And we only have power. What's this? Okay, no, we don't want to quit. Complex. All right. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, 
So when we cat here, we get hexadecimal, which I think is supposed to be some kind of uh, representation that this is encrypted. Normally we wouldn't get hex hexadecimal byte pairs when we do that, but I understand, I think, what they're going for here. All right, so if I try sudo. Okay, so we do sudo here, my will be admin. Okay, so then we go sudo password. Um, no, sorry, sudo at password. Password is mega password, so we can um, sudo. We, we don't have a decipher or a decrypt or anything, right? So we can go sudo password dot ink and a command again. Well, we don't need to actually admin in order to do that. We have the password. So, uh, I guess login. Uh, mega password. This was a triumph. You have to do that a portal reference. Validated, despite unfavorable statistics. Welcome to Sector High, Level Zero One. You have been connected to your personal computer, Bruce Dayton. My personal computer. Error. Your personal files has been locked. It's been 21,933 days since your last login. You need to enter your birthday to confirm your identity, Bruce Dayton. Please use the command unlock when you are ready to confirm your identity. Hello, your research results have been received successfully by our services. I'm sure we'll be able to find something useful with them. Okay. I'm going to increase the audio a little bit because I'm worried that you're not actually getting the uh, robot voice. All right, screw that. They decided to remove the coffee machine in the kitchen room. Adams and I want to yell at the administrator this evening. Are you in? More of us are the likelier that'll be able to listen. These bureaucrats are really boring. Oops, not. Uh, a moon. <clears throat> I've been admitted to level two at last. These nights spent on Shinezeal curves finally paid off. I loved working with you. I'm not sure we'll be able to communicate after my transfer, knowing how the complex works. It seems unlikely. Thank you for everything you've done for me. Cat A. Evans. Hey, Nathan, tonight is Bruce's birthday, as previously stated. So here's how much you owe me for the common gift. We made it simple. Everyone should just give $10. Okay, so tonight, that is March 18th. 64. Right. Uh, 03, 18, 64. Okay. That's the format they wanted. <clears throat> okay. Um, Then it must be confirmed first. Birthday JPEG, 30th birthday. And we get no metadata with that. Just a birthday pick. Just a cake. Okay. Um, and I'm guessing we can't read this either. Alright, identity must be confirmed first. Okay, so um Tonight is birth Bruce's birthday party. 7 p.m. All right. And it's not 031864. That's what it says there. Are we a day off? Oops, that's not the number I meant to change. God damn it. Okay. Um, hmm. All right. Who am I? Man not available. Okay.
Yeah, Bruce Dayton. So that says it's Bruce's birthday. Oh, we can't scroll up with the wheel. Um, tonight is Bruce's birthday. Sent on three eighteen sixty. Oh, what am I doing? Three eighteen sixty four is the day of the birthday party. Birth date is thirty years before that. I'm so fucking dumb. Sometimes I swear to God. Oh, now I have the wrong. Fix that. Back up. Eighteen. There we go. Has been unlocked successfully. Meal complex is quite vast, and you will have to use a map to position yourself in this large complex. We remind you that your computer is located on level 01 in sector 01. There is a virtual lock on a computer level 02 in sector 01. Please connect on a computer in level 02 to fix it. Okay. Yeah, that was that was extremely dumb on my part, the birthday thing. Such an easy puzzle and I just Um All right, so that's all the same. But now we should be able to see the level one JPEG. Okay, Bruce Dayton, Tim Gurton, Adams Evans, unknown computer. That's the one that's locked. Okay. <clears throat> All right, now we have SSH, so we can SSH, specify computer name. Uh, so Tim and Gurton. Password required. Um, okay, I don't remember that specifically but i do remember we did have uh they decided to remove the coffee machine in the kitchen and so on to uh okay unless the password is coffee nope. <clears throat> okay what is the data file then here is Daniel's computer password. Replace every four by zero to make it work. A little security of my own, Kim. We have no data part one. Daniel, I don't know who Daniel is. There's a Tim, there's an Adam Sevens. Daniel might be the unknown computer there. Okay. Uh, then let's try SSH. What was A Moon? What did A Moon have to say again? Oh, that's right. A Moon is on level two. That might be A Moon's computer then. A Moon's not Daniel, though. <clears throat> Ariane. That's her name. A Moon. Ariana. <clears throat> okay. Let's try SSH to Adam. Uh, I'm going to call it just a sec. All right, where were we? Adam Savans. Okay, no password necessary there. Cat. Gert and Mail. I attached my computer's password to the email, so if you can take a look inside of it, I'm sure they're okay. Then that would be. Okay. High zone, mid zone, lobby, high zone, level one, level two. Okay, gotcha. And I have, nope, one image at a time, it seems. Uh, let's go back to level one. And cat, attach. Sexy Kate. Fucking weird guy, Tim. You're a fucking weird guy. Yeah, all right. What do we got here? Cat D uh, data .txt. Uh, one point one two gigawatts, four hundred and fifty C. Fusion no damage. Seven point one test ID one one two five four five eight. Okay. Cat. Is this Mo Howard of the Three Stooges? No, it's Matt. Listen, for the coffee machine, there's nothing I can do. We don't have any budget for that. The decision isn't mine to make. Sorry. A. Evans. Dot. Mail. 
Uh, it's been some, uh, quite a while since I asked you for the ten dollars for Bruce's birthday. I appreciate it if you could get it to me when I, we have lunch at noon. Okay. Oh, so his. It's not. It's not Adam Evans. It is Adams Evans. Weird. Cat A Evans two dot mail. Thanks for ten dollars. Too bad you forgot to take more money to pay for your lunch. It's okay for this once. Okay, and then we have cat data part one. Daniel's computer name is Daniel Rich. Halfway four four nine nine way. Have a great day. And I believe that the email previously said that the okay. What does it say? Can I go back and find it now? Uh. We don't have a, a notepad. I probably should be taking us. Replace every four by zero to make it work. Okay. So replace four with zeros. Okay. Um, all right. Then. SSH. Daniel Rich. He's the one on level two. Half. Zero, zero, nine, nine way. I did not spell that correctly. Half. No. Okay. Oh, I misspelled it again. God damn it. It's weird. Cursor placement. It's not where it ought to be. I have to be between the character after, after where I am. Welcome to Insert. Sector High Level Zero okay. Two. To prevent any problems that could potentially occur, we've closed the path behind you, so you won't be tracked by anyone or anything. It seems like this level is full of malfunctioning and obsolete systems. I wish you good luck, Daniel Rich. Okay. Um, Daniel Rich, database, Richard Mills, CCM two. Okay, and Cat CCM. And now I have caps lock on. Okay. CCM1 manual. This is the documentation of the integrated component computer central management 8875 TS. Since the CCM does not come with onboard help, please refer to this manual to obtain the command list and general help about this component. The CCM is the best way to manage your network as it combines three essential features networking, power supply, and security. Each part can be enabled or disabled independently. The CCM has a terminal efficient. The CCM has a terminal efficient, although being quite scarce. It's just a weird phrasing. You can access it by typing SSH, CCM name. Once connected to the terminal, these various commands will be available. Exit to return to the main network. Status to display the current status. Oh, hold on. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Switch, link security, enable or disable CCM functionality, example, switch security, switch power, computer name to power on different computers, reset, okay, continue to the second file, which is this. Here's a description of the available CCM functionalities. Networking link connects computers together and allows users to navigate between them using computer names. When we already have a connection, it seems to Richard Mills to me, but I don't know, I guess we'll see. Uh, shouldn't, doesn't seem like an issue from the diagram, but the diagram is just a static image after all. Uh, security, manage the user access to computers, prevent unauthorized access. Okay, power supply provides power to a single computer in the level. All right. Default password is OO admin. Don't forget to change it before we're using the CCM in production. Well, chances are it has not been changed. Well, let's SSH Richard Mills. Denied by CCA module. Okay, so we do have an issue with the security module. So let's SSH, CCM underscore 2, OO admin. All right, we are now CCM2. Uh, oh, that's right. We don't have uh, we don't have those commands in here. Instead, we have to do switch uh, security. Security disabled. Now we can SSH Richard Mills. Oh, we have to exit first. SSH Richard Mills. And the system is unreachable, so we have to say CCM to again. Uh, oh, admin, and we need to 
switch, what was it? Switch connection, switch link. Link enabled. And we need to switch power as well. Do we assume that it's powered off? Switch power. All right. No, we need a password. We haven't got one of those, do we? Um. All right, then never mind. Uh, can we SSH to database? Okay, SSH CCM02. Uh, switch power database. Correct. Oh, that's the password. Switch power database. Okay, exit SSH. All right, I'm now on database cat db file. All right, we got some passwords here. I should probably be writing these down because I'll have a hard time remembering them or coming back here to get them later. So we've got Matt. Ow, 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 ow. Person. Eight eight seven. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna I'm not gonna bother writing. It's gonna take too much time, and nobody wants to wait while I do that. So I'll we'll just do this. Okay. Hello, dudes. All right, we do have Richard Mills, so we can now uh, exit here. No, we have to SSH and Rich. Uh, oh, no, we don't need to do that. Okay, so now we can SSH, CCM02. Power. Oh, no, need the password first. Oh, oh. Admin. Switch. Power. Richard Mills. Exit. SSH. Richard Mills. And it is. Uh, is that an I or a 1? I think it's a 1. Little duck. You no. finally managed to get around that CCM. I am not sure you are Bruce Dayton or Daniel Rich anymore. I am not sure you are even a part of this company. But it does not matter. I begin to trust you. Let's see if you can find something in the files of this computer. Well, you should trust me. I'm very trustworthy. I must be administrator. So. It's been a while. I have lunch with you soon. A lot of uh, finally allowed me to work on my main project. The AI I told you about. Can you believe it? Mid sector needs something from me. I'm not sure about the name. It should have all the features. Uh, okay, where are you? Okay, doesn't seem working there. Eric Quaidberg, huh? Have you seen AI? How about Quaidberg? I've been under surveillance since our last talk. They are on my back watching as I develop the AI, but I don't think they really understand what I'm doing. I'm trying to add some consciousness to the AI and allow it to learn and self-improve. I'm not sure that's what they want, but it's still what I want to do. Don't let me down, Eric. And three. They want to take her down, my baby, my daughter. It's too late for me, but I won't let them do that. They have no right to her. You are the only person I trust in this complex, Richard. Don't forget about the camera. Don't forget what I told you. Keep her safe and trust her. She can keep herself safe. Give her all the access she requires. They are getting coming to get me. I must go. Thank you for everything, my friend. They're coming to take me away. Cat introduction. Uh, password. Uh, well, it could be the same. No? Okay, well, it may have come from Eric Koidberg, and he's not on my list, at least not the, the last one that I have. Okay. So, uh, what else do we have? Mode. Normal thermal infrared. Change the camera mode. Okay, so camera to display the camera view. Cake, lie, hello. So that is a portal reference. Uh, 03011105 cake. So uh, that's the letter of the alphabet. Third letter, first letter, 11th, 5th. 12, 9, okay, so it's by letter of 
position in the alphabet. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. All right, so... Um, what else? Cool view. We can even see Dr. Koidberg there uh, up on the wall. Um, can we do mode thermal? Uh, nothing changed there. Oh, there we go. Um, uh, well, that's odd that the chalkboard is so warm. The computer is cold except for the ring around it, which is also odd. Uh, the bezel of the screen I'm referring to. A couple of cold paper objects on the floor. Okay. Mode infrared. Camera. Holy shit. That's very bright. Uh, light off. Camera. Oh, there we go. Uh, one, three, so A, M, A, M, M. Okay. Um, what if we do light and black, mode normal, and then camera? Okay, so we have, um, and I'm going to write this one down, O, one, dash, one, three, which is A, M, and then we have 12, 25, O, one, uh, which is L Y A A M L Y A. All right. Uh, we got pseudo light help rest of the day. Okay. A M L Y A. Let's just try that. Uh, cat introduction. A M L Y A. No. Okay. Um, oh, let's turn the light back on. Light on. Now let's camera. Um... Is that an anagram? Let's see, we've got... It's a meaningful anagram. Uh, it's got consonants and vowels, so that's what I thought, but that doesn't seem to be... I, I can't think of a meaningful word to make with that. Alright. Um, I, I, I wish I could just turn the sound effects off. I want the voice, but I don't want the sounds and the no music in the background. It's very distracting. Um, let's see. Are there any other configurations for the light and camera we haven't tried? Uh, oh, let's try uh, light off, camera, thermal. Let's try that. So now we get nothing. I thought I told you camera, thermal. Oh, uh, mode, thermal, light off, camera. Oh, 09, okay. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. I am Leah. Hello, I am Leah. It's nice to meet you. I thought you were Bruce Dayton, but he's been dead for decades. Everyone is. I was designed to handle this complex of safety, but I failed. Dr. Koiberg, my creator was my friend. When Sector Mitt tried to erase what he did, he went mad. 
He tried to put some consciousness in me. I think he succeeded. I think you can help me at last. I've powered a computer for you on level 03, and I've linked it to this computer. Just use the level 3 command to go there. I'll be waiting for you there. So it's a self-evident question there, isn't it? Leah says that I think he succeeded in putting consciousness in me, and as uh, René Descartes says, Je pense je suis, cogito ergo sum, I think, therefore I am. Therefore, if Leah thinks he succeeded, he must have. Level three. I didn't bring you there by accident. I think this computer contains data that will allow me to open an airlock that is locked by a password I can't find in my database. It's time to prove you're worthy of my trust. Open this lab. Okay, I don't know why I need to prove myself to you, computer, but uh, I got nothing better to do right now, so why not? Uh, hey, Matt, at last. They gave me my two months leave. I can go home to Chicago, of course. I'll be under close surveillance as usual. I'm giving you access to the lab while I'm away in case you need any of my equipment. Earlock password is the brand of Nice TV I saw in today's Chicago Tribune newspaper. Well, that's a weird way. I left it on your desktop. It's on page 23 and soon in my lab. I'm planning on buying one and bringing it back with me when I return. See you in two months. Come on, Matt. I can't believe it. I've lost that damn paper. We need Peter's catalyst for tomorrow's experiments before the committee come. Find the newspaper. Maybe the Chicago Tribune has some archives. Call them. Uh, Ellis Cat Long in. Help. Message of the day. Pseudo. And hint. Uh, well, we only have the two files. It's just two emails. Uh, and is the. This is to Matt. We do have a, a Matt Turson. Uh, do we have SSH? No. And SSH to another machine. We got nothing else. Call them. Hmm. Am I supposed to literally check? If there's Chicago Tribune archives, like in real life, that would be weird. Okay, Chicago Tribune does offer an archive of their papers. I'm going to check this. I am skeptical. But I'm going to check the uh, calendar. It's 1961. And it is August 13th. And it is page 23, page 1 of Chicago Tribune. Uh, there's, it was a Sunday, so we've got the Sunday Tribune, and then there's the Neighborhood News. They must mean the Sunday Tribune. Looks like you actually need to pay for access. You get the you get the front page for free. It's on page twenty three. Uh, yep. Yeah. So they do offer an archive, but you do have to pay to access it. If they do clippings here. There's a clippings option as well. What do we have? This is page. I don't know. Um, it says page one. Debut Voyage. Yeah, that's... Oh, shit. This is... 
an article. No, this is just the front page. Nope, it's just the front page. Okay. Is there another archive? Newspapers.com archive. Um, here's another archive. Let me check this one. I don't know why. I, 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 I This can't be a thing that they actually expect me to do. To actually look at an actual Chicago Tribune from 1961. That would be too much for, for a game like this, right? There's no way. Reds close Berlin border. Yeah, you need a subscription to, here, too. For newspapers.com. Chicago Tribune. 1961. August 13th, page 23. Newspapers.com, Chicago Tribune from Chicago, Illinois, August 13th, 1961, 23. See if I can at least view the page. Uh, get access to this page with a, with a... I don't want a free trial. I don't want to sign up for shit. Don't want to sign up for shit. I just want to look at the fucking page. And if I can't find it, I'm just going to look up a walkthrough for the game and hope that I can find one. August 13th. That's page 1, 5, 10, 14, 15, 16. Uh, okay, it only goes up to page 18. Processing completed. New information is now available. Use the hint command to get it. I'm not using a hint. I ain't tapping out, you son of a bitch. Just looking. Low resolution version. This is only page 18, though. That's not going to get us what we need to get. Um, historicnewspapers.com. I, I can't, I, I could easily find this on newspapers.com or the Tribune's own site, but I need a subscription to view anything other than the first page. And we are well into the, the middle of the paper here on page 23. So, um, historicnewspapers.com. Oh, here's a post on the Steam forums complaining about the game, this particular puzzle, it seems. Posted by Flesk, January 4th, 2017. I don't think this is a very good puzzle. It forces the player to find information from one specific source, which might not be available in the near future. It isn't even freely available now, since you have to register to use it, unless you use a tool plugin to find sources loaded in the background. Um... Okay, so you are supposed to actually go to the Chicago Tribune and see what was on the page. I got Okay, I agree with Flesk. That's a bad approach to take for this exact reason. I can't get to the information without a subscription. But it's pretty fucking cool that the game asks me to do that at the same time. Uh, it says that there's Bible puzzles. The Bible puzzles, on the other hand, work since that book is freely available. Okay, yeah, cool. That's fucking awesome. Other good examples of... Such sources would be classic fiction in the public domain, such as those freely available on Project Gutenberg. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so you, you are supposed to actually go outside the game to find this information. That is fucking awesome. Um, yeah, that's fucking awesome. But I do agree that this puzzle kind of sucks because I don't want to sign up for shit. Uh, the developer did reply 
um, um, later that same day. Blue one one two marked as a developer for the game. Hello, thank you for your advices. Nevertheless, the Chicago Tribune archives have been available since more than 50 years and will probably become a lot more. If they don't, we will update the game to provide a similar level of difficulty. Currently, to find the answer in the game, you don't need to register anywhere or use any plugin. Just type Chicago Tribune Archives 08-1361 on Google and use the first link. Okay, well, we're going to put that to the test, uh, their developer, because I have been trying. There are many methods available to find this piece of information. Be assured we understand your concern, but really think that through. I'm sorry to say, uh, Blue, with the Sime team, I think you might have misspoke from years and years in the past, because it doesn't seem to be that available to me. Let's use your search term. Uh, you said to use Google, so let's use Google. Incognito window so that my results won't be poisoned. Type in your string. Um, so to use the first link. So we'll avoid the ad, but it looks like it's the same anyway. Uh, so there we go. Uh, no. Here we have a obituary. Clipping. This is page 32. It's not even the right page. Um, let's try with quotes. See, maybe that's what you meant to say. Nope. You, that's your post on this on the forum. Um, so let's try the ad. This is going to take us to their main page, though. This is just sample pages, page forty-two, page four, um, one fifty-one, page seven, all the wrong year. Um. So, uh, yeah, you were you were wrong, uh, Blue. I'm sorry, you just were. Um, I'm not saying that this is impossible to do. Certainly, with uh, information being what it is today, we could probably find it archived somewhere. But I'm afraid Flesk was right. Uh, with the way things can change in Chicago Tribune being in a current publication subject to copyright and their own internal business archiving processes uh, could decide arbitrarily at any moment to remove this information and it seems even that they have so um, mistaken there uh, August this is one or 261 from the right time but that's 261 uh, 13 August 1969 what pages this is where we were before here is the right edition, but that's page one. Um, yeah, yeah. You put your your faith here in the Chicago Tribune, and it's misplaced. It just is. Um. Well, here's an uh, archives from an EDU. This might be better, although it is Duke, so we probably need a Duke login to access it, but that's fine. Let's see if we can find it. It's 1912. Come on. 1918. 1923, 27. 31, 36, 40, 44, 48, 52, 55, 57, 58, and that's the end. They have the archives. Oh, up. I could have seen it right at the very top. Um. They only have it to 1958. Okay, so much for that. 
Um, Chicago newspapers. Okay. I, I think that this is uh, potentially difficult, mo much more difficult to answer than originally intended. Um, or potentially impossible to answer at this time. So, uh, let's see if we can find the answer. Is it in the continuation of that thread? Are there more puzzles that will require Google Foo? I like inverse and universe solutions. Uh, kind of annoying to wonder if I can find the answer in fake emails the game contains. I have to go online for real world info unless it's obvious from the start. Um, ruins immersion for me, which is otherwise very strong up to this point. My first thought reading these emails was that I would have to either log into a camera. Uh, yeah, I, I thought that too, but there was no camera command. Um, Here we go. Uh, somebody, Anonymous Kraken, posted uh, about 10 months after the original question. The Chicago Tribune archives have since been updated to require payment to access them. Please update the game as soon as possible. And every post after that is mentioning this. So apparently it was never updated. Um, or I don't know if they're unaware or what, um, but whatever. Um, we could. Um, some people are suggesting that you can access Chicago Tribune archive information without paying simply by uh, doing some meddling around with the browser and hiding elements and such. I'm not going to do that because, well, potentially it would be problematic for me to do so. Uh, but somebody has posted the solution is Admiral, so... Wait, where am I? Oh, the, right, it was an email that said that. Cats P. O'Brien. Alright, so... I'll be under... So you know, this is usually I'm giving access to the lab line because you have airlock... Oh, the, right, the airlock password. That's what we were looking for. Uh, so, log in, and it was Admiral. Peter O'Brien never came back from his allowance and his lab was closed since that day. I was sure you were the one I needed. Unlocking the airlock allow us to reach his computer. Connect to its computer using the command SSH Peter O'Brien. SSH Peter <laughs> Peter O'Brien? Le <laughs> Leah, it's not O'Brien. It seems Peter found a way to lock his files with a password. Let me know when you're done with that. Hello, Peter. This is an official warning before your suspension. It has been reported and confirmed that your scientific work is distributed by your, uh, sorry, disturbed by your religious beliefs. Although we acknowledge that some religious material is required by your work, it seems you lack rigor. If you want to keep working on this subject, and we know you do, please fix that behavior of yours. Sector High Supervisor. Hello, Peter. This is an official notice of a two-month suspension. So starting tomorrow, your religious beliefs have nothing to do with the scientific rigor we require from you. You will return home to Chicago. None of your co-workers know that you have been suspended. We intend to keep it that way. You will see your laboratory with a password only you know. Hold on a moment. I'm being interrupted. You will return home to Chicago. None of your co-workers know that you have been suspended. We intend to keep it that way. You will see your laboratory with a password only you know and give it to no one except us. Okay. Cat Journal. They don't like the way I do experiments, too religious, they said. How could you do that kind of research otherwise? They want to suspend me, but I'm afraid. I'm not afraid of that. They need me. I'm sure they do. I keep hearing voices while I'm doing these experiments, and that noise. What is that noise? I must find what it is. I'm going crazy, but this work is more important than my sanity. This noise is getting louder. I'm about to find where it comes from. Of course, nobody can hear it except me. They think I'm crazy. I think they're right. Catch results. Identity must be confirmed first. Just a moment, it's happening again. Okay, we're back. Alright, unlock, try to unlock the computer. Oh, we got a camera again. Um, what's that noise? Amos 523. Okay, well, we already saw from the um, Steam thread that there was a viable question, but even if they hadn't, I would certainly have recognized that, so. 
Amos 5.23, really available on Bible Hub in many different versions. Uh, in the King James Version, Take away from me the noise of your songs, for I will not hear the melody of your stringed instruments. In the... Let's see. International Standard Version, Spare me your noisy singing, I will not listen to your musical instruments. Okay. Uh, looks like the stringed instruments in various different translations. In the King James Bible. Take thou away from me the noise of thy songs, for I will not hear the melody of thy vials. But in most other versions, uh, is translated as harps. So... Peter was a religious man, but he was brilliant. He worked on a new fast mode of transport. Level 04 is currently powered off. You need to power it on to go down there. There are several computers that can provide power to that level. You'll need to activate at least five of them to pass. The password hint is available for each computer of this level. Okay. Uh, we got Mark, Johan, Annie, Nods, Eric, or Oliver, Nist, Luke, Mike, and Peter O'Brien is where I am right now. And then we have Power Supply. Uh, cat. Uh, we did read the supervisor emails. Uh, yep, yep, yep. In journal and results. Okay. So, uh, do we have SSH? We do SSH power supply. Uh, okay. Uh, Luke, Mike. Um, and password data. Oh boy, uh, file name is 1623040120.01, password is okay, uh, is this not hexadecimal as I saw before? Um, I see that these pseudo byte pairs are only numeric, so we're probably looking at, again, just a simple substitution here with uh, position in the alphabet, so 20... 3040120010101 well, is a and a um 04 a b c d of course uh 23 is uh w no 26 25 24 yes w um Oh, it's password data. It's the file name of the file we're looking at. Okay, so then the password is 14, 15, 14, 19, 05, 14, 19, 05. All right, ABCDE is 05. Um, there's a lot of 14s, so... You know what? I'm just going to make this easier on myself and just pull up a um, alpha. Oops. Letters to numbers. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, A, L, M, N, O, P, U, R, S, T, U, P, W, X, Y, and Z. All right. Okay. N N N. S, S, and S, O, uh, nonsense is the password. Okay, um, we, we, 
Um, just the power, activate the power on this computer. Uh, nonsense. Okay. SSH. Oliver NIST. Um, sort of data. What is that city name? And we have geo coordinates. Okay. I, I'm liking this game. This is cool. I, I, I'm a big fan of, uh, of, of puzzles. Like I do subscription box puzzles all the time, uh, just for fun. I mean, I guess it kind of sharpens the puzzle solving skills and helps with the, um, helps keep the brain moving, helps to, uh, keep sharp on the process of disambiguation and investigation, that kind of thing. Um, but this is exactly the kind of stuff that you usually find in puzzles like that. So this is right up my alley. It is not obviously a hacking simulator, but as a hacking themed puzzle game, I've seen a lot worse. And then minus one, 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 five, seven, eight, five, two, eight, one. That is the wonderful city of Mapleton, Utah. And SSH, let's do four. Eric, four. What are those colors? Uh, well, these are hex values for colors, and it's RGB, so red, green, blue. So we have... Um, do they want me to just, like, go, like, red, blue? Is that what they want me to do? Here, let me, uh, let me pull them up in a browser so you can see as well. Hex color codes... Um, oh, this is only showing me them. I, oh, here we go. So if we go, uh, FF, O, 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 O. So FF, O, 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 we get pure red. If we do O, 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 F, F, we get pure blue. And if we go F, 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 O, O, we get yellow. All right, it's just mixing colors. Now, do they want me to actually type out red, yellow, blue? I, I don't know. Let's find out. Uh, like red, blue, yellow. Okay, that is what they want me to do. Okay, next. Any nods. Uh, Luke 19.4, last word. Another bibble, bibble puzzle. Uh, new international version? No. It doesn't tell me what version. There's obviously the translation is going to be different no matter, you know, depending on what you're looking at. But we'll do the King James version. That tends to be what we're looking for. And he ran before and climbed up into a sycamore tree to see him for he was to pass that way. Or way. All right. Apparently we had the same version. All right. So that's Four. We need one more. We got Mark Johan or Steve Door. Steve Door. ASCII is. Uh, oh, okay. We got a different kind of. It's a definitely a substitution puzzle because ASCII ends in II, and I can see that the characters at the end is 7373 so it is a direct simple substitution cipher but obviously not quite the same um so if everything advances by 64 does that make sense here's my letters i is one two three four five six seven eight nine so that's the ninth letter, uh, 964 plus 9, yeah, 73. So it's the letter plus 64. Right, so then I'm going to need the later One more 5 minus 64, 50, well, that, that doesn't make any sense.
Because there's not 51 letters. So it's not just advanced by 64. Mm. Let's uh, try and mark Johan's puzzle. We only need one more. And there's no point in making it harder on ourselves. Oh, oh excuse me. <laughs> All right. Harps. Uh, D A F, and then there's circles. So, um, okay. Um, it is every good boy deserves. That is a D, uh, F A C E. So we have D E. Um. Um, another D, E, 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 F, dead beef, dead beef, dead beef is a, uh, a very common expression, um, when you're looking for like, like, if you need to choose a memory address or something, um, to use dead beef because it's something you can spell using characters, letters available in uh, Exodus. Uh, prison break. Did we do it? Is that it? Hello, I am Leah. Hello, Leah. I thought you were Bruce Dayton, but everyone has been dead for decades. I want to finish my father's work. Ooh, ominous. Brian created is the first step towards that. Please free me. Please free me. Well, I can't imagine why I wouldn't. You seem. Oh, all right. Episode two access code free me. That's it for episode one, which means this is a good time to stop and prepare for part two. Thanks for joining me. Um, I am very much enjoying this game. It is, as I said, right up my alley. It's not a hacker simulator. Um, it does have some hacking themes. So this is a puzzle game, a hacking theme puzzle game. So as a hacking theme puzzle game, this is one of the favorites I played. I really like that. Uh, that was um, intuitive. Um, it was not super challenging. Um, the Chicago Tribune puzzle notwithstanding. Um, but it was... You know, for easy enough that it was fun without being frustrating. Um, could maybe have st stood to have it be a little bit harder, but hey, I'm I'm not I'm not upset about it. Chicago Tribune puzzle has to go though. That is uh, not something that is currently solvable without paying money to the Chicago Tribune, and that's uh, not something you should ask players to have to do to play your game. So uh, we'll be back for a part two. I'm going to do episode two. We'll see you then. Take care.